Hello everyone. We are live with the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries out here off the coast of Cape Cod. You see Dr. Greg Skomel currently working up a great white shark here. Can see that shark swimming away from the boat in the water. He's turning a lot, John. So what Dr. Skomel has in the camera right now is a GoPro camera on the end of a camera pole. And what he is doing is he's trying to get underwater footage of the white shark for the population study. So the population study, we are currently in the fifth year of it, trying to answer that question. How many white sharks are there in the Northwest Atlantic? All right, it's in gear. We'll just go along and keep sweeps then maybe pop them. Okay. So when Greg refers to pop them, he's talking about putting a tag on the shark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my lingo. <laughs> so again, currently he is getting that underwater footage of the shark. So when getting underwater footage, they have to get footage of both the left side of the shark and the right side. What was the size estimate on this one? Put this one 12, 12 feet So I think this is about 12 feet. Gorgeous fish. Don't go this. Stay back, Rich. Stay just back about the fish with this guy. Just stay roughly at Mitch and Tara. I'm really good. Yeah. So this is a great white shark that we are currently getting that ID footage for. After the day is done on the water, what will happen is they'll go through this underwater video footage and they'll try to find those identifying markers on the shark that make it unique. They could find those along the caudal fin of the shark, the dorsal fin, could also look along the gill slits. With each shark, they try to find, you know, about five different identification markers. Really beautiful. It's one of those sharks that's cooperating nicely. Oh. All right, you ready? I don't like to take advantage of the fact we got a big, big shark. Down a little bit still. Yep. Yep. Well, we got a shoulder there, maybe it'll pop up. Yep. All right, folks, so the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy is here with Dr. Greg Skomel of the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries. We are currently on a white shark. You can hear and see spotter pilot Wayne Davis in the air. So we've currently gotten several swoops of underwater footage of the white shark. And now Dr. Skomel is going to try. He's going to try to apply an acoustic tag to the shark. The tag will be deployed right alongside the back of the shark, right next to the dorsal fin. Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh, and that shark is tagged. Woo! Hello. Very good. Very good. Nice. So that is the second white shark tagged of the 2018 season. Oh, shark circling back now. Wow, definitely checking me out. <laughs> <laughs> definitely checking me out. You want to photograph that? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. So again, that was an acoustic tag that was deployed onto the white shark. So using the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy's app, the Sharktivity app, you will actually be able to hopefully see detections from this shark as it travels around the area. So how those acoustic tags work is they're constantly sending out a ping and that ping can get picked up by a acoustic receiver that is deployed in the water. Nice work, then the research team goes out, they take those receivers out of the water, back. offload all of the data, and so we're able to track the movement of these sharks. Thank you. So now Dr. Skomel is again putting that GoPro camera in the water, getting that underwater footage. 
trying to make sure he gets nice clean sweeps for identifying footage. Now looking down on the shark, you can see that acoustic tag right there next to the dorsal fin. That's the tag that was just applied to the shark. Man, it's hard to leave this shark so because it's so cooperative. Big, beautiful animal. We need a tissue set. Yeah, you're right. So you heard Captain John King referring to getting a tissue sample. Dr. Skomel has been working collaboratively with other scientists, and he has at times been taking tissue samples from the shark to better understand their biology and look at the health of the animal. So again, we're coming up on that shark, trying to get another nice clean swoop of it. You can see it right down here next to the pulpit. So Dr. Skomel is calling out to Megan Winton so she can record the data for that shark. So again, you hear Wayne Davis over on the radio. Got a great view of him right there, folks. You can see that shark right off the pulpit. Come on out to my office. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my office. Here we go. How fantastic is this? Yeah, we're gonna go on to the next shark, but we gotta be careful. Look at that little shoal over there. All right, folks, so again, we've had a very active day. The research boat has been out since about 9 a.m. this morning. So we were working more to the northern part of Cape Cod. Then we made our way back to the south and we're getting ready to call it a day. But that spotter pilot, Wayne Davis, he found a few more sharks for us. So we're gonna keep you guys with us as we go on to that next shark.